हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम ललित वर्मा मैथ्स फैकल्टी एट मैट्रिक्स अकेडमी राजेंद्र नगर टुडे आई वुड लाइक टू डिस्कस सम स्ट्रेटजीज रिलेटेड अबाउट मैथ्स एग्जाम इन बोर्ड क्लास टेंथ लाइक आई हैव सम क्वेश्चंस लाइक व्हाट टू स्टडी इन लास्ट वन मंथ ऑफ एग्जाम तो माय सजेशन टू स्टूडेंट्स टू ऑल स्टूडेंट्स जस्ट डू वन सैम्पल पेपर डेली एट होम एंड स्किप द क्वेश्चन विच यू आर नॉट एबल टू डू टू सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन एंड वेन यू गेट टाइम जस्ट सॉर्ट आउट द क्वारीज विद योर टीचर एंड अलॉन्ग विद दैट Uh, revise one topic also. For example, your, your favorite topic is mensuration, surface and volumes. So you can start from that topic. And uh, I suggest you uh, do optional exercises also because last year we have seen that there are uh, two questions from optional exercises in the board question papers. So it's my suggestion to do try to do all questions from optional exercises also. And uh, like suppose uh, uh, what the problems we are facing uh, regarding in this time period, uh, the problem is uh, what to do from which chapter should I start my revision. Uh, at what time should I do the my math sample paper, or any other subject? So along with all the subjects, you know, math is very important subject. So you can do one thing uh, at eight o'clock or nine o'clock. You can wake up and you start your sample paper, uh, whether it is a science, it's math or a social science, and just start the sample paper and skip the difficulties if you are facing in your sample paper and do sample paper full in length, and check your answers which is given in the back so that you can analyze yourself. What are the questions you are not able to solve? Uh, at that time, and what are the topics need to revise again? And uh, uh, one more thing, write down all the formulas in one page of uh, you know paper, piece of paper, and you can stick it in your cupboard or uh, Almira, where you can see daily everywhere, and you can learn the formulas. And uh, the only next suggestion I just want to give you. When you get your question paper, so you will have 15 minutes time to reading the question paper. So I suggest you solve one mark question at between that time, so that when you start your uh, answering the questions, so you can just write down the answers directly. Uh, now the problem the students which are facing the most is the topic is geometry. Look, we have three theorems in geometry in class 10th. So I suggest you just learn all the theorems. And write down two or three times uh, on a piece of paper, and check again and again what are the things which you are, which you left uh, in writing the theorem, so that you can analyze yourself. Like this is the reason which I have not written, so my marks should be directed in that area. So just go through the theorem once all. And one more thing, suppose there is a question. Uh, suppose you don't know the answer of the question in geometry. So do one thing: just draw the figure, write given to prove, and prove, and whether it's its construction. Then just write down all the things. If you are not able to solve the question completely, definitely you will get some marks to solve their types of questions, because in home examination, in schools, teachers are not give not giving exam in their types of problems. But if you write these things in board examination, board examiners definitely will give you some marks. So I think uh, something is better than the zero. And uh, uh, now, how to save time in geometry questions? Leave the geometry questions in last one hour. Because you start your answer sheet, or you start your answering the question uh, by solving that questions which you are able to do, which you are you know completely perfect in that area. And suppose you know the question very well, so just speed your speed up your writing so that you can solve the questions in within 30, 40, 50 seconds or one minute. If you know the answer, because save your time for that questions though that you don't know how to solve it. So that questions will take time. If you uh, stuck at some question, so leave it at that time and uh, go further and solve all the questions. And uh, like, uh, like one question is, uh, which is in your in your mind, what is the major difference between the school-based exam and board exam? You know, school-based exam basically teachers are making paper from sample papers, or you know, they will keep the question paper level difficult because they they just want to make our students you know bright and do all the questions in question papers. But in board examination, paper will be uh, based on NCERT. So go through NCERT once more. If you have done the NCERT thoroughly once, so please, uh, my suggestion is go through NCERT once more along with your sample papers. One more question. Uh, Maybe we have in our mind how much time should be allotted for questions according to their marks. So I suggest you start your question paper from section D, as we have four sections in maths question paper, because uh, section D is of uh, all questions is of four marks. And when you reach at the center, your brain is very you know uh, at that time very fresh and very receptive. So I think in that time you should solve section D four marks question first, and then try question uh, section C and B and A in reverse order. It doesn't matter what you are writing in question paper in random order. You can solve 30 question first and question number one second. It 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 doesn't matter. So I suggest you just start your question paper from section D, and try to solve it in within one hour. Because you know, 
sometimes maybe you have some questions in section A which are you know uh, most time taking questions because but they, they are really just one marks. So I do not suggest to start your question paper from section A because sometimes they have they kept some questions uh, like uh, though those were like taking taking marks like formulas are required and something are required to solve the questions. But just you just solve the questions from section D or alone and whatever the questions you are not getting just leave the questions and go through and go ahead and solve the other questions. And uh, one more thing now, now is the last time, the high time to study. Just uh, I just want to uh, keep calm, relax, take healthy diets, do your entertain, whatever you like. Like suppose you want to watch TV in a day, you want to talk to your friends in a day, you want to take your mobile for for some time in a day. So you can do, or uh, I suggest you you do exercise also, so that your mind uh, will keep calm and relax, and you will excel definitely will excel in your board examination. Uh, all the best. Thank you.